the opponents of capitalism continue to allege that it's based on greed. And it's one of the silliest explanations I know. It's as if the desire for wealth has something to do with the ideas and inventions and creations and efforts and disciplines that actually produce wealth. And as Steve Forbes has put it, uh, greed no more explains capitalism and capitalist success than airplane crashes are explained by the force of gravity. The force of greed and the force of gravity is ubiquitous in the world. But to explain the unique and the singularities of entrepreneurial creation, uh, greed is irrelevant. It has, and greed, as a matter of fact, is a great obstacle to enterprise. Imagine uh, what, a, what some really greedy person does. A, a greedy person seeks his own comfort and security first. He seeks to collaborate with government to get his future guaranteed and subsidized and, and cosseted and supported. Greed leads us by an invisible hand, not to capitalism, but to socialism, to an ever-growing welfare state, to crony capitalism, of, to all the corruptions of dictatorial power and exploitation that constitute socialist economics.